What's up, everybody? It's your favorite, <laughs> favorite nerd. And today we are looking at the Black Series Sand Person, or I think they're called Native Tatooiners now. It's a it's a very new world. We have to adjust. Also known as Tuscan Raider, and also Lando Calrissian and R five D four. Now the R five isn't part of this wave. He's a GameStop exclusive, but. Uh, because I don't want to do one video <laughs> by myself on R5-D4, we're rolling them into this one. And, and we'll, we'll kind of keep it moving from there. Let's get started. So first up is Billy D, Billy D, Billy D. And he is, I think, terrible. I haven't quite made my mind up yet, but I'm, I'm, working, I'm working through it. I've wanted a Lando for some time. It's the only one that we're kind of missing. I am missing a Yoda because I, I didn't get one when he was out and about, and now people want an arm and a leg for him, so I'm missing a Yoda, but outside of that, it's just uh, Billy D. So he comes with two accessories, three if you count the cape, and uh, they're f some are fine and some are not. So he comes with this communicator, you know, that he radios into Lobot. Where's the Lobot figure, you know what I mean? We got, uh, it's a black piece of plastic with silver and gold paint, and it's done fairly well. And then he comes with a blaster, um, you know, decent sculpt work, and the tip of it is painted silver, so to speak. And then he comes with this cape, which is all sorts of problematic. So instead of making it soft goods, which they should have, they made it this softer plastic, so it fits over them, but now you're extremely limited as to what you can do with the shoulders before the cape is rendered useless. The sculpt work inside is nice, but they should have given the gold a good wash. Also, the real shoddy paint between the gold and the blue down here at the bottom, and they should have given this whole thing a wash to bring out all those sculpted details if they were going to do soft plastics in the first place, which they probably shouldn't have. Hold on one second. Let me show you a comparison. Here is, I can't remember if this is the original Trilogy Collection Lando or maybe it's the Vintage Collection. I'm not sure, but that's how you do it. And look, they even brought out, with soft goods, the details in the cape better than the sculpted one. That is a cry and shame. Now, it would have been nice if this cape came forward a little bit over the shoulders, so you could have then flipped it back. But this is a ton more effective than this, and it doesn't get away in the playability of the figure whatsoever. Real, real bummer. So we'll toss that to the side. Unfortunately, he doesn't look great without the cape. So you're probably going to have to use it when you display the figure, which means you probably have to have his arms pretty much dead at his side or maybe just right in front of his waist a bit. The head sculpt is pretty good. It's not fantastic or anything. It's not setting the world on fire, but I think it's pretty good and it's a pretty decent likeness to Billy D. Not too shabby. The eyes are painted, eyebrows, mustache, the lips are painted, and the hair is all sculpted and painted. And it looks, I think it looks pretty good. Not, not great, but pretty good. It's on a ball hinge, but because of the sculpt of the head, which does sit on the neck nicely, you don't really get anything out of it. A little bit up in the swivel. That's it. You got a ball peg, for, or a ball joint rather, for the chest. It's like a diaphragm joint. And it works fairly well. Decent sculpt work throughout uh, on the tunic and stuff on the shirt. or the, <laughs> There might be a blouse. But it, pretty decent sculpt work there. Disc hinge shoulders, they get you up to 90 degrees and all the way around. With a single hinged elbow that also provides the bicep swivel, for lack of a better term. We have the watch with all the painted details on the watch, which is nice. The wrist swivel and hinge in and out, as does this hand. The belt... Sculpted nicely, but we got paint mishaps along the way. But overall, sculpted fairly nice, and the pants are sculpted fairly nice as well. T-jointed ball joints for hips, great range on those, by the way. Better than most Marvel Legends nowadays, which is weird. But he can't really use that articulation if he's wearing his cape. Thigh swivel, double-jointed knee that really just obliterates the sculpt. Uh, but you can't use the articulation anyway because of the cape. And then you have an ankle. By the way, my foot came out uh, unattached from the joint in the box. Foot goes up to there, which is nothing. Down to there, which is barely anything. It's a very thin foot, and then it rocks, which is nice. The rocker does work well. So yeah, it's a lot. It's a very, very limited figure. 
that in and of itself um, isn't the worst until you add on the cape, which is one of the best looking things about it. Next up is the Tuscan Raider. He comes with a great number of accessories. His rifle is like the, the wooden sculpt here. It's got the gunmetal silvers painted on. It's got the brighter silvers painted on. Really cool accessory. Kind of a pain to get him to hold, but a cool accessory. And then he has the gaffy stick with three different options for uh, the, the business end of it, so to speak. So you have this one, which is kind of like the arrow quill, and then you have like this, which looks like a, I don't know, like a king, like a queen scepter or something, and then you have, um, and then you have this one here, which is like an arrow. Really cool and really nice because uh, a lot of people are going to troop build these, obviously, so you have a lot of different weapon options to use kind of straight out of the gate. So that's really thoughtful of them, and is I like the way that they integrated different options into one kind of build. A pretty tremendous head sculpt. The silvers are painted, the wraps around the mouth are painted, the inside wraps are painted, the teeth are, you know, teeth are painted, all the little silver doodads are painted, and then the wraps are all washed. What more can you ask for? This is exactly what I want when I want a $20 Black Series figure. This sort of love. This is, this is what sets them apart from Marvel Legends, in my opinion, when they do stuff like this. The chest sculpted nicely. We have these uh, kind of bandoliers across. They are painted with brown and gold. The gold is done okay, but it does get sloppy on the buckles from time to time. The head itself is on a ball hinge, but you don't really get anything out of it. There's soft goods of the uh, overcloak or overcoat kind of wrapped up inside, and then the sculpt of the head doesn't really allow for much anything, much of anything rather, than the swivel. So that's a bit of a bummer. The waist is basically on a swivel as well, and it, but it's on a ball pick because I can get a little bit of side to side, or just a ball joint rather. And then all of these uh, belt things are all sculpted, washed, uh, sculpted, washed, and then the buckles are all painted. And actually it's painted underneath because this is all one piece, this soft piece here. So really well done. Shoulders are on disc hinges, get you up to about 90 degrees and around. You get a single hinged elbow, of course, with the swivel acting as a bicep swivel, and then the wrist have a swivel and a hinge in and out. This is something I really want to show you guys. This is underneath of the soft goods, so you never see it. It's sculpted, all the bandages are sculpted and washed. It's just on the forearm, but I can't believe they did that. You know, that's great. That's the way to do business. The soft goods works really well. It's uh, it's stitched together right underneath the arm, so you shouldn't have the arm just falling out of the sleeve because it does look like giant sleeves. And it's a nice bit of material, like it's nice and long. It has this texture to it. It's all you know frayed at the bottom, and it comes in packaging wrapped up around the bottom of the the robes, so it keeps it you know from getting worn and beat up in in transit, which is really good. The bottom of this is washed. And then underneath, we have the leg bandages that are all sculpted, painted, or they're all sculpted and washed anyway. T-jointed ball joints for hips get you out to there. You have this soft piece of plastic here, which is a bit of a bummer, but even still, you can get the leg out to there. Thigh swivel, double jointed knee, ankle tilt up, tilt down, and rocker. Not much more you can ask for. Easily, easily, easily the best figure in the wave. And then we have Mr. Bad Motivator himself, Mr. R5D4. And this is a GameStop exclusive. It was initially very difficult to find, but now I'm seeing them all over the place with no issues. So if you're not seeing them in your town, I would just give it a little bit of a, of a, of a break, call them regularly, and you should be able to get one. They're, they're kind of shell forming now in my area where I couldn't find them and eventually. So the one gimmick thing he has is the third leg, so to speak, and it does conceal by just spinning the head, much like the three and three quarters do as well. So pretty cool. You can get it back to there. Tremendous paint job on this figure. Silver is done, the red, the red 
tampo paint around these little line works here the silver there all the red up there this antenna is crooked and is crooked on another one too i'll show you that in a minute but it is washed with the black you have these stickers here these like little i'm not sure if i need the, those i'm not sure if i like those or not doesn't matter they're there we have a, a brown wash added to kind of give the wear and tear throughout the body and it is not on the feet i thought it was on the feet just on the body that's fine and then we have the red blue silver details all painted throughout on the front and back and underneath the arms and then on the sides we have the blue paint silver paint throughout and then all the little things here are painted so a really beautiful paint job on this thing for being like a you know a, a less than you know exciting kind of figure to get so here we go the arms here swivel the head rotates back and forth on a swivel which does push down the leg we'll show the leg one more time to show that the wheels here it does articulate at the ankle for lack of a better term and so do these on a hinge and of course if you have them all down it rolls like a champ so uh, it's really i mean it's it's really quite perfect you know it doesn't have it doesn't, the, the, i mean the thing is it doesn't have to do much to be perfect you know but but for what it is it's perfect the only issue i have is this antenna is like it's it's bent it came bent in the packaging and just to give you a little point of reference, I'm gonna go handheld Spike Lee on them. Uh, so I'm, I'm getting all these on card to hang on a wall. I'm gonna hang them up there, across that wall there. And like, there's the one that I have. And you can see that his antenna, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but it, it's crooked as well. It's bent in just a different direction, but it's still bent. Uh, I do have to give a shout out to Tyler L for securing me, this fella. And I got to give actually a lot of shout outs real quick. And those would namely be to Randy B, Michael G, and Frank H., for helping me get uh, a lot of these other Black Series uh, 40th anniversary figures on card, which was very challenging, uh, and then one one loose. So thank you all you guys for, for helping me in my hunt, and thank you, Tyler, for uh, sending me this fella. Also, Tyler is on a, a show, uh, a podcast called Toy Detox, part of the Cool Table Network, and it's a pretty good show with him and, and my buddy Brave, where they, they talk about toys, and then sometimes they don't talk about toys. Sometimes they don't talk at all, but... For the most part, uh, it's, a, it's a show that I really enjoy, so you should check them out. Final thoughts wise, the Lando sucks. Um, it's a real bummer that the three and three quarter one kind of blows it out of the water. It, and there's a lot of potential with it. And it would have been so much better with the soft goods cape. Hopefully somebody, like every now and then there's a guy on eBay. I hope you guys know who I'm talking about. He's I don't, I don't know his name off the top of my head, but he sells like kind of third party homemade capes and robes and stuff for Star Wars figures and Marvel Legends. So I hope that he tackles something for Lando because I definitely would pick that up in a heartbeat. The, the Sand Person or Tusken Raider or Native Tatooiner or whatever you would like to call him is pretty much perfect for a $20 figure. I, I really, I couldn't ask for much more at that price point. It is extremely well executed. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Lando, unfortunately, I kind of have to recommend them because I just don't know if we're getting another Lando or when that will be or who that will be. So I don't know. I, I guess you have to, but it is a real letdown of a figure. Just be warned. And R5-D4 is pretty much perfect, but if it wasn't perfect, there'd pretty much be no excuse for it. So that's how I feel about these guys. I hope that helps. I want to give a shout out to Crashbox for hooking me up with the plug. And outside of that, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. One time I had the pleasure of being in the presence of Mr. Billy D. Williams at a convention. And a person brought a Colt 45 bottle for him to sign. He refused to sign it, and he refused to take his sunglasses off the whole time. Now, ordinarily, this would irritate me about a Hollywood celebrity type that couldn't even take his sunglasses off to look you in the eye. But for Billy D., for some reason, I like it. <laughs>